Hi, in this short video, I would like to show you how to use Ember.js with jQuery Ajax Promises. So to do that, let's start with the starter kit that you can download from the Ember site. And basically, I have done that. Index.html is the same as before. App.js is the uh, same as before. The only thing I've done here is the post data that is in the array. I've shortened it so it will fit on my small screen. And uh, let's start the app and see what happens. To start the app, I have a local uh, HTTP server uh, based on nodes. And uh, I started with a parameter called course. Uh, uh, since we would be making an Ajax request later, I want to make sure that cross origin request will work. So I give it a parameter of course. And now I have the server starting. Uh, once I have the server starting, uh, let's uh, see if our app is working. And as you can see, it shows uh, two app, two posts, uh, which I can uh, navigate to. And I can uh, go between, and it's all working, which is great. So now the next step I'm going to do is uh, basically uh, remove this array uh, that is being hard-coded here and uh, make it a blank object. And uh, we're going to read this from a file. So basically in the post route, I will make a call uh, to simulate Ajax. It says call Ajax and it will return this post array. Uh, let us see what this uh, function does. I'm going to uncomment this function, which I've already prepared for you. Uh, basically, this is where the Ajax uh, promise call is happening. So when uh, uh, the call is made to Ajax, uh, these are the header parameter. Basically, I'm going to read from post.json file. Asynchronous is set to false. And when this promise is fulfilled, then it's going to come into the then function. And all there is it doing is it re uh, reading that results array. And I'm pushing it onto the post. So you can see here post.push element, and that's what I'm doing. And if I look at post.json, uh, the array is back in here. So let us see if this will work. Uh, I'm going to restart the app and uh, I click on post uh, about and everything seems to be uh, working fine, uh, which is good. Uh, so all uh, we want to do now is to uh, move it forward by changing it to read from an Ajax call, which is not just a URL, which is a URL. So I'm going to start another node server, uh, which is going to serve me this JSON uh, stringified array. And uh, the address uh, I have put in at localhost 8000. And that's what I'm done, the URL. is still going to read the async. Since it's going to be stringified, when it comes in here, I'll have to do a JSON parse uh, and get it into a data. And I'm going to use this data to uh, push it onto the results. So that will take care of that. And I will show you what the node server looks like. Node server is basically coming in here, which is writing the header. And it is here you can see it is uh, setting the access control, allow origin to be anything so that uh, we don't get that error. And uh, it, after a timeout of three seconds, it calls this function called getData. getData basically is now going to return this array uh, and send it as a response where you can see the json.stringified data. The response is being sent from here. So what I need to do is start this uh, node uh, server. Uh, so I'm going to start it here. It says node server.jss on the local host it is running. And you can check that it is running on the local host by uh, in the browser. You can check that it is serving the, the JSON array, so which is good. And uh, we go back here in our posts and uh, we start this and see what happens. If you click on the post. After a delay, you can see the posts show up and uh, everything is good. Uh, so one thing we noticed is uh, we're, typically we don't want the async to be false because then our UI is waiting all the time. So what I'm going to do is change the async to true. 
it basically means it's going to be an async and then there's a form is field we're going to have uh, same thing happen and let's see what happens now and now you can see is even after we wait for a few seconds we don't get anything and that is a problem so the solution to that problem is that the array we are creating we need to push ember objects not just the regular uh, pushing of the elements so to do that we basically need to change this call to change it to push object and that's what I'm making the change here I'm going to save it and I'm going to restart it and see what happens so as you can see when the results came in uh, we are able to see uh, the data and everything is great so what I have shown you is how you can use Ajax promise to read from a file here in the example was post.json initially we were uh, using uh, synchronously the Ajax call but then I showed you how to change it to async and when you change it to async you have to make sure that the objects you are pushing are ember objects and to do that you have to do push objects and a uh, few uh, I'm not sure if I can show you the ember console and if you look at the ember console you can see the routes uh, these are going to be all the routes you can uh, the ember extension is installed but that's uh, how it is done thank you for taking the time to view this short video you have a great day thanks bye